Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's dive here straight into the one hour time frame. As you can see, we broke out here to the downside from this potential uh, bull flag that we were in. So I didn't give up the hope right now because uh, we just had this uh, little uh, dump here and uh, if we do a Fibonacci retracement, let us do one here uh, we, from based on this uh, breakout from the uh, low here, seven thousand nine hundred dollar up to up to eight thousand nine hundred dollars. So as you can see, we we exactly uh, bounced here at the 0 0.5 Fibonacci line, eight thousand four hundred. So I opened a long position um, on. Um, by bit uh, i will do a, a later a video regarding this new uh, quite new exchange uh, which is very similar to bitmax but here you don't have all these lags and uh, problems that you sometimes have on bitmax so i'm trying out this new uh, exchange and the funny thing is that uh, this money that i have uh, in it this uh, 0 0.001 bitcoin i got them for free so you can register on uh, bybit with my refer referral link here I will put it here in the description in this video. I will also later do a, a little tutorial how to do that because you just have to register and like retweet uh, um, Bybit uh, and then you will get $10 uh, directly here and you can trade with them. So you cannot withdraw immediately this $10 but you can trade with it and what you gain uh, with your trades you can withdraw them into your Bitcoin account. So it's like... Uh, um, money for free that you can trade and you can try it out you can like in bitmax you can trade with 10x or 100x and so on so i will do a later video regarding this buy bit uh, exchange here um but uh, as you can see i opened here with this money a long position with an entry of 8490 because i believe that we still maybe are in to uh, play out this bull flag because you know my target is somewhere between 10,000 to 13,500 before we have a major correction so I believe that this is still just uh, a part of this consolidation that we are we were in so if we bounce further down here to the 0.618 Fibonacci line I think this would be the maximum if we if we go lower from this point then probably we'll go down here to the previous uh, resistance which is now support at 8000 but I think that from here maybe we're gonna retest here the previous support here at around 8600 if we can break it to go back in here this will be bullish and then I think we will see also the breakout up to 9500 but if we see here here weakness if the price cannot go back into the channel if you see that 8600 is too strong resistance now uh, I'm gonna close here my uh, long position and then probably we will be in for uh, a bigger correction but so far I think is uh, um, everything normal that we bounced here from this Fibonacci uh, line so here in the one hour looks everything still good and if we can go back above 8600 uh, i think that we will soon see the breakout to the upside from this potential still potential bull flag also you see that one hour was oversold here stochastic and rsi was totally oversold here when we reached uh, 8400 so we are now start the correction to the upside again we have to see here if the one hour goes above 50 this will push us to the upside but if we get bounced here uh, always from the 50 line then this will be bearish and then probably here we will not be able to break it uh, the 8600 line and we will uh, go down here so keep an eye here in the one hour what the RSI is doing in the four hour time frame uh, also here you can see that the stochastic is over uh, oversold but you see the RSI bounced here at 50 so we got support here at 50 so this is very bullish if this bounce back up and also the one hour goes above 50 uh, uh, probably we will go back into the channel pretty soon uh, in the daily also we were oversold here RSI also is cooling off so here uh, stochastic is neutral RSI is still in the higher region of overbought so here we can still go to the 50 line here and bounce from here so 
we might see in the next couple of hours uh, some attempts to break 8600 and if we are not su successful maybe the end of the day we will see the price going lower and maybe here bounce from the 50 uh, line in the daily uh, the weekly chart uh, yeah looks still same we have to wait for the weekend to see maybe a change let's have a look here on the longs and shorts of course now some longs got liquidated probably or stopped out uh, some shorts are rising but just a little bit it's nothing that uh, makes me worry so uh, nothing new on this uh, end here so i think we should see the next couple of hours some attempts here to break the 8600 line if you are not able to break it and go back into the channel uh, maybe at there we will see the start of the bigger correction here to the downside but um, this doesn't mean that we have to go straight down to 4k or something because also remember we have some futures gaps open down to 8200 and uh, also here 7200 in my opinion although this gap we still need to fill but some people say that we already filled it with this uh, wick here so um in any case uh, at least this one we still have to fill at 7200 so i still think that we have to go up to at least 9500 maybe even up to 13500 which is my uh, golden target uh, i just uh, show you again why i believe that um, we should go to 13500 is because uh, uh yeah here you can see it we had this all-time higher 20,000. we went back down to 3k so this was the big correction the bear market which took uh, a bit more than a year and now we bounce back up so it's like a ball it's like you're throwing a ball down to the ground and it bounces back up and usually this is the line that you have to watch when it bounces back up the 0.618 fibonacci retracement so that's why in my opinion we still have to go and feel uh um uh, this level here uh also where we had a lot of support and resistance as you can see here when we bounce from the 20 so i believe that uh, as soon as we top out uh we also probably gonna see a double top so maybe if we go up here uh maybe we have there a retracement or correction down to one of the fibonacci lines here like 11,000 or 9,000. try to go back up and if there we cannot break it then we will uh, see probably a, a bigger much bigger correction to the downside but if we don't see this double top that means that probably we're just gonna top out somewhere have the correction and then move on and maybe also break the 20k uh, in the close future so uh, let's see but of course this is now speculation but i still believe that 13,500 this line here uh, will be the line that we need to watch uh, if we see a huge resistance there and maybe from this point over here a big correction maybe 50 percent down to 7k fill all the gaps we have down there um, because we're probably gonna create some more new gaps on the way up so that's why we uh, don't have to forget that we have gaps below us and the correction will come of course uh, but you never know when and if you want to take out some profits i would wait to see at least a double top or uh, to reach the 13500 also now if you're going to retest the 9k this this could be a double top and from that point we could break to the downside but uh, i still believe that 9500 is in the cards and everything looks still bullish even if we are out of this uh, bull flag right now this doesn't mean that we have to see the big correction right now we still can go to the upside back into the channel as bitcoin did this in the past already and as i told you i'm in a long position and i'm pretty confident with it and uh, yeah let's see if we are able to uh, go back into the channel in the next couple of hours all right guys with that said i'm gonna wrap it up i hope you're in a good trade if you like the content please give it a like subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and we see us all in the next one bye